Hello there and welcome back to the channel. Today we are taking a look at something a bit different for me and we are taking a look at a camera tripod and specifically the KF Concepts KF-TM2324. And the reason I'm doing a video on the tripod is I bought this about six months ago and when I bought it I had a quick look on YouTube and as always you see lots of reviews saying what is it like. However, there wasn't many reviews saying I've had it for six months, this is what's good about it and this is what's bad. So having had it for six months and put it through quite a lot of use and I have had the odd issue, I thought I would do that video. So what we're gonna do is give you guys, hopefully, a bit of information and you can make up your own mind if you should buy this tripod or not. Okay, so the KF Concepts TM2324 is a 62 inch aluminium lightweight tripod which is fully adjustable and is ideal really for most photography use and that is why I bought it because I was looking for a tripod to do my videos like this as well as take out in the field and not have to worry about it being heavy or anything like that. Now it cost in I think in the UK about 60, 65, 70 pounds so it's not a super cheap tripod but it certainly isn't a pro level one either and to be honest when you use it you sort of get that. Having used it for the last six months I've got to say it is a very good bit of kit but it does have its problems. Talking over the tripod from the top to the bottom you've got a nice Arca Swiss style mount on the top which is fully adjustable on the ball head and you've got a nice tight screw that holds that all in place. It means you're easily able to quickly level your camera and I've had no issues with that part of it at all. It's also got a built-in level as well which is handy if you want to make sure that your camera is level if it hasn't got one built in. Um, it's got quite a nice smooth ball head it isn't something that i particularly use for panning myself but it is clearly greased and you can feel that there is some restriction on there you then got an adjustment knob on the side that does then lock it in place and that stops it turning artificially you've then got it adjustment down here to adjust the height and you've got a screw here that locks that down in place which is nice and easy and nice and tight you've then got the carry strap and you've got the adjustments below that for the legs now this is one of the reasons i bought this tripod because it allows you to set the angle of the legs depending on the scenario you're doing and you've got the option to flip it into three different positions you've got a latch which you simply press down lift the leg out which allows you to do it to there or you can do it to something like that or if you do it all the way you can actually flip the legs upside down for transit now i've used that out in the field and it works absolutely fantastic had no problems with that whatsoever moving then down to the rest of the tripod you've got at the bottom of each leg your three lockings for the feet adjustment and again you can adjust the extensions out like that and i've had no problems with these whatsoever they're fairly tight i've not had them slip on me i've not had any problems with that area either finally on the bottom you've got a spring mounted hook which is for attaching extra weight should you want to be making the tripod a lot more stable while using it out in the field now as i've said it is a 62 inch tripod and it does cover pretty much all the options you're going to want from a tripod now to talk about the bad bits because i have been using it and I have had a few problems as well and they are as follows first of all after about two months of ownership this adjustment screw here actually broke off in my hand one day now I didn't put a particularly large amount of force on it I simply did it up I noticed it continued to rotate and the thing broke off and the reality was the thread in this actually tore out now I emailed the guys I purchased it from on Amazon and it was KF Concepts Direct and they kindly sent me a new ball head over from China took a about two weeks but I did get another one so whilst I did have a problem with it they did actually replace it for me as well since then I have uh, been a lot more careful with that area and not been as heavy on it and I don't think I was being too heavy but I've definitely been a lot more gentle on this one and I've not had a problem with it since secondly to this I have had a problem with the legs coming out of the bosses that they go into and this is a little bit more worrying two of my legs have actually come out whilst using them now I've not put a huge amount of stress on this area you've got the aluminium leg into what I think is either cast metal or aluminium I don't know it might be plastic I don't think it's plastic but I could be wrong actually um, but I've actually had the leg 
pull out of this area. And the sad thing is, it's happened on two of the legs. It happened on this one with the foam, and it's happened on this one here as well. Now, as a result of it, I've, I've actually ended up gluing the legs back in myself. I've done it on this one, which you can't quite see, but if you look on this one, I've actually used some super glue to hold the leg back in place. Now, I've actually only done that today, and I don't know what the longevity of that is going to be like, but it is something to be aware of that it can happen and you can get the legs come loose. Now, I do often carry the tripod with this one on the foam on its side, but I've never carried it on that leg. So I can't honestly say me carrying it that way has any, had anything to do with it, but it is something to be aware of. And it is a bit of a shame because it is a bit of a letdown when you start getting problems like the legs coming loose. Moving over to just a couple of annoyances with it. Be aware, I have had this screw hook fall out. It does actually unthread. So if you turn it, it will actually come out. And I had it fall out on the floor one day on the beach, nearly lost it. Lucky I actually spotted it does happen what I would suggest is putting a bit of thread lock on that as well and the other annoying area is the ball head up here the ball head is actually completely removable but what you find is this screw to me doesn't quite seem long enough and every time you're using the ball head it seems to come loose one way or another it has the nut which holds the nut in place so what you actually do is if I take it out completely I'll actually show you what you've actually got is a thread with the smaller thread and a nut on it, that screws into the base of here, but you can't screw it in very far because if you do, there isn't actually enough thread to bite at the top. So what ends up happening is when you are using it, it keeps coming loose. So it is something to be aware of. I would suggest putting some thread lock on this. The only reason I ha haven't actually done it is I actually do use this ball head on my slider. And that means I do take it off now and again. But if you're not going to be doing that, I would suggest putting some Loctite thread on that and that and wrenching it up so you're not going to have any further problems. Um, the nice fact is you can remove the ball head and you can put a more expensive ball head on this tripod if you want to. Um, it is something to consider, especially if you look at the problems I have had with that one as well. Uh, that is pretty much it. Now, would I recommend buying this tripod? In my experience, it's been a very, very good bit of kit. But be aware, it doesn't come without fault. The legs have a habit of falling off, and I have had that screw break. Um, so do take those things into account. They are not anything I haven't been able to sort, but it is something to take into account. If you are going to buy it, buy it from Amazon. You do get your warranty as well, but do be aware of that. Um, I haven't seen anybody else posting a video of using it long term like that and giving you this sort of information. So I can't really say if it's just me that's had this or anyone else, but do take it into account. If you're going to purchase it, it isn't without its faults. And uh, that's pretty much it for this video. If you've liked what you see, please do subscribe to the channel. As I've said, doing something like this is a bit unusual for me, but we are going to be doing a few more videos on some other stuff as well. Um, we're doing one on a tent very shortly, which is going to be a bit unusual. However, you know, if you like what you see, subscribe. We're going to be looking at some other stuff over the next couple of months as well. There's a link to the tripod in the description of this video as well. So if you do want to buy it, please do go check that out. Please do subscribe as well. It's only by you guys subscribing do we able to keep doing things like this. Thank you very much, and I will do another video again soon.